I'm Lizzie McAvoy and welcome to my home studio here in Nashville, Tennessee. We are talking about the audience 4816 and I am super pumped about our special guest today. This is Eric Arches. Hi everybody. Um, Eric is a phenomenal uh, singer, songwriter, producer, artist, extraordinaire golfer. You are an excellent I mean, golfer. You could just keep giving me compliments. That's that's fine. We can do this all night. <laughs> We've also been friends for a really, really long time. And he's one of my favorite people to write with. And he's super accomplished on uh, writing. He's had songs that he's written and produced in numerous commercials and TV and film placement. Yeah, we've been fortunate. We've, we've done a few things for Walmart and, and Pringles and Hershey's. The Hershey's one was really cool. The list kind of goes on, but yeah, it's been great. But then you've also had commercial cuts, like with country artists. Yeah, we we had, we had a song that Tim McGraw recorded. Um, I also had a cut with a band called Newsboys, and well, you and I, we had the Thompson Square cut for The Best of Me. Yeah, our song was called Bar Time. And speaking of Bar Time, we decided to spice up our original demo that actually was the demo pitch to the band that was cut. Yeah, I mean, we wrote this song in four hours or so, mm -hmm. and we, we built a loop, uh, laid down a couple of pieces of guitars and a mando, mm -hmm. sang a vocal, and that was it. And um, that's all that it needed at the time, but we thought it'd be fun to pull in some tracks and and see what the audience can do um, and, and actually build that track up how I do it at my studio at, at, um, in Nashville with, with hybrid mixing as we call it um, where you're pulling in virtual instruments and, um, and then actually running them through analog gear to, to get a more organic sound. And that's exactly what we're going to do today with the audio 4816. Check it out. so a drum loop, and then we ran it back into the 4816, so analog, and then we printed it back out. What did you think about that? I mean, it's amazing how quickly a virtual instrument, a digital thing, can sound real and organic and, and warm. Um, I mean, that's, to me, that's what I can use in my studio, is, is, is that implementation right there. Um, I loved how the EQ is super musical, um, it's really easy to, to use, it's super fine, so I mean you can get any frequency that you really want, you can really dial it in, like it's very fine um, tuning, and uh, I mean I was just overall very impressed with that. So how did you feel about the onboard compression? It's, what, I mean it's a classic compressor, classic bus compressor, that's, that's what I want in a console, that's the sound I want. Um, I liked the LED lights. That's like a that's kind of a new thing. I mean, I'm used to a fader or to a, to um, seeing the needle move, and I think that's cool. I mean, it, it sounded great. It it wasn't too overwhelming. Um, it was just exactly what I would would hope for in a console compressor. I mean, look at it. It can it could totally fit in my studio at my house and. <laughs> Just because it's a home studio doesn't mean that it has to be limited um, by the space that you're in, you know? I mean, the gear that you choose affects so greatly the, the quality of music you're putting out and something like the Audient, like, to have that ability to, to run digital sounds and virtual sounds, um, I mean, it's it's a time saver and it'd definitely be a money saver. Um, and it's perfect. It fits right in this little space. Yeah, I mean, it's great. It's great. Uh, thank you so much, Eric, for Thanks being for here me. and yeah. like working on the 4816. I'm so glad we so made fun. a fan out of you. This yeah. is awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Lizzie. This is Eric. See you next time.
please hang out with us. So we spiced up, I don't know what I'm saying. So as long as you're seven, you know, I'm